uh, the discovery of the Kumaran scrolls did a couple of things. One, so before the 1950s and the discovery of them, I think it was actually 1948. Um, the Dead Sea Scrolls for people who might not know, the Caves of Qumran, correct? Yeah. 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 Um, so before that, the final composition of Isaiah uh, was pushed all the way forward to about 100 B.C., uh, by some of the more critical scholars. Uh, so that's very late. And they pretty much said that because it had to be done, you know, before the New Testament came around. Otherwise, they'd probably do it even later than that. Um, <clears throat> however, uh, here comes this discovery of the Qumran scrolls, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, and then we have uh, a scroll designated 1Q uh, Isaiah A. Uh, and it's called the Great Isaiah Scroll. And it is a a complete scroll of the book of Isaiah discovered in these uh, caves from the Qumran community that is dated, uh, a carbon dating actually has a date range here, uh, between uh, about 341 and 114 BC. Wow. Um, and so it depends on, you know, how, you know, I don't know anything about carbon dating. Uh, I just know that you know, different, uh, you know, methods have rendered, you know, a date range. And it's a complete Isaiah scroll containing chapters 1 uh, to 66. Uh, and uh, that really throws a wrench into the thesis that parts of it weren't written until 100, uh, right? Uh, or even into the Hellenistic period, because all of a sudden we have this scroll that's complete smack dab in the middle uh, of the Hellenistic period. And you know, just a little date uh, here, too. The close of the Old Testament canon is probably somewhere around 500 to 475. Mm. Uh, that, you know, with the, the writing of Malachi. And so mm -hmm. we're talking, you know, 150 years after the close of the Old Testament canon. That is really close in terms of historical artifacts and what we have in this dating. And then in terms of, you know, a division. Um, so we talk about the Great Isaiah Scroll. There's actually a lot of different scrolls on Isaiah that we have. Uh, so there's a 1Q Isaiah B, a 4Q Isaiah B, C, uh, and E are all fair, fairly full uh, Isaiah scrolls, uh, none of which uh, reflect a division where the critical scholars propose the divisions. Yeah. Like there's no superscription at the beginning of chapter 40 on any of these, even yeah. though every other scholar or every other prophet, to my knowledge, has a superscription at the beginning. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, none of that's there. Uh, in fact, they all sort of reflect a unity of the book of Isaiah. The closest that comes to it is in the great Isaiah scroll. There's a couple line break between Isaiah 33 and Isaiah 34. Uh, and so some have taken that and they've proposed what they call the bifid. Uh, approach uh, to Isaiah, which they, they break it in half at Isaiah 33 and say there's, you know, 33 chapters here, 33 chapters uh, there. 